Well, f me, it's December. That glorious month for a fat git who's almost supernaturally jolly squeezes his rosy cheeks down your chimney to gift you with socks and pyjamas and lots of sh** that you never asked for that'll inevitably end up stuffed up in the attic or shoved into a plastic bag and dumped outside of your local charity shop. Ho ho ho, mother f***ers. But hey, maybe you can bring a little magic to your festive season by bagging yourself one of the very best smartphones that hit the UK in 2022. This year, I checked out almost 90 new handsets from spunky budget blowers to excessively expensive bricks. But which ones actually stood out enough to make the best smartphones of 2022 shortlist? Well, I guess I'll just stop rambling now and we can actually find out. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell, jars. But first, before we plow our way through a whole ton of lovely, shiny, wonderful smartphones, let's begin with a slightly more harrowing memory. What was the worst absolute steaming turd of a smartphone that somebody curled out in 2022? Well, this year I fondled plenty of boring blowers that barely improved on previous models, but one absolute stinker stood out from the sea of mediocrity, reeking up the place with its outdated hardware and frustrating flaws. I am of course banging on about Apple's iPhone SE 2022, where the SE presumably stands for shameful ejaculation. This absolute sack of arse juice did actually gift me with one of my happiest memories of the year, namely the very moment I finished shooting my review and immediately ripped my SIM card right out of the c**t. What's so bad about it? Well, take your pick from the stuck-in-time design, the horrendously bad battery life, that woefully inadequate camera tech, the frankly insulting amount of storage which of course isn't expandable, and the ugly low-res display. But hey, the iPhone SE 22 has got wireless charging so that's nice. Kind of like sprinkling some sparkly glitter on a steaming dog turd. So if there's someone in your family that you absolutely cannot stand the bloody sight of, well, why not gift them an iPhone SE 2022? It's just as good as a firm kick to the crotch. Next up, the best compact phone of 2022. Now, dinky blowers are really hard to come by these days. Most smartphones are whopping huge 6.5 inch buggers, but occasionally a smaller smartphone emerges then offers some serious hand relief. Hand relief as in it feels nice to clutch, it won't give you a crafty tug or anything. Favourites this year include the Xiaomi 12 which was one of the most pleasant surprises of 2022 with its 6.2 inch form factor. And of course the Pixel 6a which is a smaller more affordable version of Google's flagships. But for me the best compact smartphone of 2022 is the Asus Zenfone 9, a beautiful wee 5.9 incher. Factor in the helpful one-handed mode and you can forget ever having to lay both mitts on this thing while the aesthetics have been seriously upgraded from last year's Zenfone 8. This is one smart wee bugger with a choice of poppy colours on top of the usual more sedate designs. There's no micro SD memory card to expand the storage sadly but you do actually get a headphone jack something that's pretty much extinct on most premium smartphones in 2022. And media fans will positively spooge over the Zenfone 9's gorgeous OLED display. Camera tech is almost on par with Google's Pixel phones, once again capturing realistic shots across all kinds of conditions. While Asus is also stuffed in Qualcomm's mighty Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, with up to a frankly ludicrous 16 gigs of RAM crammed inside that weenie body to keep things running super smooth. So yeah, gaming on whatever you like ain't a problem. Battery life on the previous generation, the Asus Zenfone 8, was, to put it mildly, proper pants, but thankfully Asus has sorted it out for number 9. This thing can comfortably keep on going all day long, even if you're really going for it. So in conclusion, if you want a premium smartphone experience that won't actually ache your fingers, well, this is the one to check out. And if you are after a mini mobile, we'll definitely have a gander at my roundup of the best compact smartphones of 2022, including the likes of the Xiaomi 12, which I really love, and of course that Pixel 6a. Next up, best bendy phone, and in 2022 we've seen loads of foldables launch, probably more than ever before, and we've still got some from the likes of Oppo set to launch before the year's end. The likes of the fresh new Honor Magic VS is a solid rival to Samsung's mighty Galaxy Z Fold 4, but when it comes to bendy blowers, I do prefer mine in a more compact form factor like the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Samsung's latest flip phone is a cracker in most regards. Despite that pleasingly compact design, you get dependable battery life and fantastic performance because it's an 8 plus Gen 1 stuffed inside, not one of those Exynos bag of bollocks. One UI serves up an enjoyable dual screen experience with heaps of customization, while many of the software glitches that plagued it since launch have thankfully been booted right in the happy sack. 
However, I gotta say, I think that the award this year deserves to go to Motorola's much improved Razer phone, which sorts out a lot of the pain in the ass problems from the previous generation. The Razer is powered by the same beefy Snapdragon chipset as the Z Flip 4, the battery life is miles better than before, and that stock Android vibe is a big winner. I was certainly sad to switch my SIM out, and I would happily jump right back in for seconds anytime. Next up is the award for the best Ooladi Dar phone, which to be fair could go to quite a lot of these foldables as well. But this year the winner has to be the absolutely bad mental Nothing phone with its hilarious disco arse. For a first gen blower, the Nothing phone one is impressively good, offering features like wireless charging and water resistance for a decent price. But of course it is the light up transparent rear that captured headlines, even if it is mostly pointless and more than a little bit random. Whatever you guys are smoking over at Nothing HQ, please can you chuck some over my way so I can actually survive the f***ing holidays. Ta. Now let's skip our way merrily onto the best camera phones of 2022 and this year there was some seriously tough competition. Oppo's Find X5 smartphones can capture fantastic looking pics when the sun sets thanks to their Marisilicon X smarts, while the Vivo X80 Pro boasts a brilliant bit of Zeiss branded camera tech complete with gimbal stabilisation and yet another swanky image and chipset to spruce up your captured memories. However, the winner this year has to be Google and the Pixel 7 Pro with its mega bastard triple lens setup that never disappoints. That primary shooter spaffs out gorgeous shots by day and performs absolute miracles at night. And the magic doesn't end there either with some clever editing tools on board to sort out iffy snapshots. While well, that telephoto lens is another absolute wonder, getting you up close to the action from a serious distance away. If you want yourself a simple point and shoot snapper that can still churn out magnificent looking stills worthy of a professional, well, job done. So next up is the award for the best phone that doubles as a handy paperweight, and the winner is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's an absolute bloody heifer. Look, if I do an awards video and I don't feature Apple in it in some way, shape or form, I get all of the fanboys crowing about Android bias. So there you go, Apple got a win. End of. Now my pick of the best gaming phone of 2022 goes to Asus's ROG Phone 6 and the ROG Phone 6D, which are remarkably similar but use different chipsets. MediaTek's Dimensity 9000 Plus is the brains behind the ROG Phone 6D, while the older ROG Phone 6 uses that Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 instead. And both are effortlessly powerful enough to run the most demanding Android games helped by the capable cooling system. While Asus has packed the ROG phones with all kinds of great gaming features including incredibly useful air triggers. Both blowers support the usual range of accessories from gamepads to extra coolers so as long as you're loaded you can enjoy a comfortable and formidable mobile gaming experience. So now let's jump from those pricey buggers all the way down to something a bit more wallet friendly and have a gander at the best budget smartphones of 2022. Any blower that is 300 pond or under is a candidate, and this year I really enjoyed the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G, Motorola's Moto G82 and the Poco X4 Pro, even though that's essentially a rebranded Redmi. Despite the low asking price, you get a punchy OLED screen, decent performance and all-day battery life on all three, not to mention some pretty respectable camera tech. Choosing one of this trio is pretty difficult, but if you do prefer a more stock Android vibe, well the Motorola is the way to go. And 2022 has been another absolute blinder for budget smartphones, so definitely go check out my roundup of the best phones under £300 for more ideas. Next up, the best mid-range phone of 2022 costed between £300 and £600. And again, it's a proper toughen. Some of the phones I've already mentioned here are big candidates for a victory, including the literally blind and nothing phone. I also really like the Nokia X30, an eco-friendly device serving up a bit of stock Android OS with years of update guarantees. Then there's the Motorola Edge Fusion, which again doesn't tamper with Android and serves up a surprisingly premium experience for a trouser tingling price. However, it's Google's Pixel 6a that wins my vote for the best mid-ranger, especially as it's a proper pocket pleaser, measuring in at just 6.1 inches. Unlike the flagship Pixels, you don't get a premium glass finish sadly, but the 6a still looks and feels great. Stuffed into that plastic frame is Google's own Tensor chipset, which can handle everything up to and including a spot of gaming. That OLED screen is a stunner, even if it does max out at 60Hz refresh, while the audio chops are just as lovable. As this is a Google blower, you've naturally got a stock Android finish with years of guaranteed updates for peace of mind, plus all of those Pixel exclusive features like the call screening, which is a miracle worker, an absolute time saver and a half. 
The Pixel 6 here is water resistant, it boasts dependable battery life, and at its all new price it is a stunning bit of kit. Now to finish off the award shenanigans for another year, let's end big, the best flagship smartphone of 2022. And again, this is a proper tricky one. Towards the end of the year, we've seen some really good devices, including the lovable Xiaomi 12T Pro. This 6.67 inch beast boasts an impressive 200 megapixel camera, which can capture detailed packed ultra high res pics. While this phone also delivers silky smooth Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 performance and all day battery life, plus 120 watt fast charge tech. Another excellent 2022 flagship rocking a 200 meg camera is Motorola's Edge 30 Ultra, which again serves up a stunning 6.67 inch OLED screen, this time with the refresh rate boosted from 120 to 144 hertz. You got the same great performance and solid battery life, plus wireless charging as a bonus, all wrapped up in a gorgeous sandblasted chassis. And then there's Google's Pixel 7 Pro. I've already banged on about the excellent camera tech, but the rest of this formidable phone is just as enticing. Movie and music lovers will absolutely adore what they see in here. Battery life is excellent, complete with wireless charging support, and that design is rather bloody lovely. And add in Google's dedicated software support and those excellent exclusive features, and yeah, the Pixel 7 Pro is a freaking masterpiece. But is it my absolute all-time 2022 favorite flagship smartphone? Not quite, because there is one blow that I just prefer ever, ever so slightly, and it is Asus's Zenfone 9. I'm certainly skewed towards the Zenfone 9 because I prefer a compact handset. I have dinky wee goblin mitts that just can't cope with gigantic 6.7 inch behemoths. And I also wear fairly skinny jeans as well, so if I am rocking one of these massive blows in my pants, it tends to poke me in the pancreas quite a lot, which ain't the best. With the Zen 9, though, none of those issues, it's beautifully compact, but you still don't have any compromises when it comes to the performance, the battery life, that camera tech is still very, very good indeed, certainly more than good enough for everyday shenanigans. You've still got a gorgeous stock Android vibe on this thing, and not quite the same level of support, but still pretty good. You've got that headphone jack as well, which is an added bonus, so I've got to say, if I could have only one smartphone from 2022 stashed in my pants full time, it would be the Zen 9. So anyway, that's what I reckon of the mobile output in 2022. What do you reckon? Are you guys agreeing with me? Do you think I'm talking a whole heap of bollocks? It'd be great to hear your own personal awards and choices down in the comments below. Please do plug, subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. I, as I say, I handled almost 100 bloody smartphones in 2022. I get the feeling there's going to be just as many, if not more, in 2023. So come join me as I have a, a mental breakdown again. Yanking endless shiny gadgets out of their box and having a good old fiddle, a few lovely folk at home. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a fucking cracker. Love you guys.